and gentlemen, welcome to Fulton Street Beats. SC500 Harley Benton. This is a follow-up review of this Les Paul style guitar. And um, if you guys have followed this guitar at all, you'll know that when I got this guitar, it didn't arrive in the best of shape. Um, it had a lot of flaws and um, some shipping damage too, I think. Um, Got a, still got a little chunk out of the back, but I have cleaned this up. I have polished this up. I have replaced a lot of parts on the guitar. Um, new knobs. I did put the uh, the markers on it. I put a actual Les Paul pit guard on it. Um, as far as playability, the thing was outstanding. Fret works outstanding. Neck's outstanding. Really nice weight and feel. Um, I think my next upgrade is going to be tuners um it stays in tune kind of like any les paul style guitar does which you guys know really isn't that great they're never really that great so we'll change that eventually but playability it sounds really good it's a fun guitar to play but it does one thing really well and that's kind of straightforward rock and roll almost well led zeppelin-y kind of things and um it doesn't sound very good with metal and i think that's kind of the nature of this beast at least not to my ears um but however old school rock and roll it sounds really really good will i upgrade these pickups no because this is a kind of what i wanted the guitar for was that kind of rock and roll music and the feel it's got a really nice neck um i believe these things right now are around i think they're around a hundred and uh let's check the price currently right now price right now We'll pull it up here if we can. 139 bucks, Toman Music. If you're here in the States, expect around $60, $70 on top of that for shipping. Um, so I call that the price of the guitar together with the shipping because you're going to have to pay it no matter what. Now, if you live over in Germany, then you're not going to pay the shipping like that, of course. But that's what it is. Is it worth it? Yeah, even with the blemishes it had, it's definitely worth it. I could have sent it back. Um, they get, sent me a uh, return label, or were about to, um, and they were paying for the shipping back, and was, they were going to send me the the uh, the uh, another guitar or or refund my money, whatever I chose to do. I chose to keep it because it played so well. Um, remarkable action. The fretboard is amazing, and Really, that's the judge of a guitar for me, right? Because we can do anything to make them sound good, but do they play good? Does it feel good? This plays good. Um, it's hard. I jump around from guitar to guitar to guitar to guitar, and you get used to one, you go to another one, and it's a little bit off, and this is no exception. But it is a cool guitar. It looks amazing. Um, this is the SC500, and I'll give you a little bit of a pull up here. Here, um, it's, a, it's a basswood body. Um, now, a lot of people say, well, it's not mahogany, it's basswood. You know, a lot of high-end guitars are basswood, though. I've been as Jim, basswood, most of them. Um, so, not a big deal. It's a C-neck profile. It's almost a D, to be honest. Um, it's, a, it's a nice neck. Of course, it's not super fast because it's got that glossy finish on the back. But um, for it's not a shredding guitar if it was you know, smooth it could have been, but um, it's a rock and roll guitar, and that's what it does well. Uh, block inlays, 22 fret, of course, you know, you guys can look all this up for yourself, and these, this got DLX hardware on it. Everything's gold plated. I don't know if the camera picks it up or not, but it's got really decent gold plating. Did have some scuffs on the tailpiece when I got it, but I buffed that out. Um, it does hold tune, like I said, but um, over the course, um, five, six songs, you might have to adjust up your, your G string or, or maybe your high E. Um, so what's it got for strings? Whatever it came on at factory, um, I think they're 10, what are they? I don't even know if it says here, but they're not, they're not 9 to 42s. They're definitely not 9 to 42s. They're, I think they're 10s. But it's cool. It's got a beautiful looking fretboard. Um, kind of an ebony look to it um although it's not real ebony but it, it does look it um the back of the guitar is nice except for that mark wherever that is i think it's up here someplace i got a little chunk tanking out of it and it arrived that way but it buffed out nice and this is my favorite part of the guitars the way they cut this so you can access with ease 
your high notes with ease. You're not even struggling. The hand naturally goes there and does anything you need it to do up on your high fretch, which is really cool. Um, so you're not grabbing that big chunk and grabbing it here. You just, it's a nice little, I mean, you can play this without even having your thumb on the back. You can just reach right up in here and grab. It's pretty cool. So to follow, this is just a follow-up. I thought you guys might want to know how it's been doing, how it's been holding up. It's been holding up great. Um, pickups can be a touch microphonic if you're really running high gain. Um, but I kind of like that effect because it, this it's controllable um, feedback. So, I mean, you can really control it and use that to your advantage with these, which is cool. And we have some actual Gibson top hats and uh, on here now. Um, as you know, when I got the guitar, eh, they were a little off. But now they're spot on, and I think it looks like a million bucks. I really do. Um, like I said, probably going to replace the tuners and probably going to go with some lockers. If we're going to go with anything, we might as well put some go-to lockers on it. Um, because, well, they work good, and they're really not that expensive for what you get. Yeah, I'll probably, this is probably going to be one of my keepers because it's a nice playing guitar. And it looks really good now. And if you guys are interested in these, head over to Toman Music. Check them out. They got a lot of other ones, too, including some EMG-equipped uh, LP-style guitars, which are really reasonably priced also. I want to say they're around 333 338 bucks. I could be wrong, um, but that's what I remember them at in my head anyhow. Um, check those out. They're getting great reviews, and um, man, they're screamers. So maybe we'll pick one up sometime. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. What do you think? SC500 Harley Benton. It's a good-looking guitar. Sounds pretty good in my opinion. Uh, definitely rock and roll. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe, and I'll be talking to you soon. Remember, it's rock and roll that makes the world go around, baby.